Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If you don't know me, my name's Sam. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, and today I am going to show you how you can get these beautiful natural looking curls without using any heat regardless of what your natural texture is like even if you have naturally pin straight hair you can get this look and all you need is a belt from your robe so if you want to see how to achieve these curls just keep watching so <laughs> here's what my hair looks like while it's air drying i did brush it out so you know the curls aren't defined and it's poofy and crazy but I love doing this hairstyle because it allows me to wear my hair curly but it controls the curls without having to apply any heat to them and this style will work no matter what your natural texture is whether you have straight hair curly hair I am going to just apply some leave-in to kind of help smooth my hair down. This way in the morning when I take this out, my hair will be nice and smooth and frizz-free. I'm using the Olaplex number no. six leave-in. I do suggest if you have naturally curly, frizzy hair to put some kind of leave-in in your hair first. You also want your hair to be a little bit damp when you do this. You need the moisture in your hair in order to lock in the curls but you don't want your hair to be too wet because then it might not fully dry overnight. And before you unwrap your hair, it needs to be completely 100% dry because if it's still wet, you're not gonna get any results. It's just gonna fall. So I just washed my hair and I have been letting it air dry for the last like 30 minutes or so. So you can still feel that it's a little bit damp, but there's not like, a lot of excess moisture then you want to make sure that your hair is parted wherever you like to part it I want to do mine down the middle so I have it parted down the middle and then I'm gonna follow that part all the way to the back it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line I like to clip one half out of the way and then I take a robe belt they do make products now for this specific technique, but honestly, if you have a robe already, just grab the belt from it. Why buy another tool if you don't need to? So I just place it on the top of my head in the middle and make sure that it is even on both sides. I like to take a clip and pin down on the side that I'm not currently working on just to hold it in place. That way it's not falling off my head while I'm trying to wrap it. The pieces of hair that you wanna take, the size of them, is going to depend on how tight you want your curls. If you want them to be looser waves, take larger sections. If you want a tighter curl, take smaller sections. Because I have natural curls, I like to kind of work with my natural texture, so I take smaller pieces. So start with a piece in the front and you just want to wrap it around the belt. And there's a couple different ways that I like to do this. Sometimes I will just grab all the hair from the front. Other times I will alternate so just for the sake of the video, I will alternate to show you, but it's a little bit easier if you just grab it all from the front. But I'm gonna take another piece from the back and I'm gonna add it to that first piece and then I'm gonna wrap both of them around the belt. Now I'm gonna grab another piece from the front, add it to that section, wrap it around the belt. Then grab another piece from the back, add it to that section, wrap it around. And you just wanna keep repeating that. So like I said, you can just keep grabbing hair from the front, add it to the section, wrap it around, if that's easier for you. I don't really find that it makes a huge difference in the final look, but you can try out both and see if there's one that you prefer. The key though is to really just keep holding everything really tight. You want this to be nice and tight around the belt. Then once I get to the back, like past my ear, it's all in the back. I don't have any more hair 
from the front to grab. So I'm just going to grab, add it to the section, wrap around, and try to get each piece of hair to be similar in size. Doesn't have to be totally perfect, but just try your best. Then when you get to the bottom, you want to keep wrapping until you can't anymore. And then I like to take a scrunchie and tie it up in a bun to secure it. That way it won't come loose throughout the night. So that's what it should look like. And it should be, like I said, sitting pretty tight on the side of your head. If it starts to fall loose, you want to rewrap it. Because if it's loose, you're going to end up with frizz and it's not going to take. You're not going to get a nice curl. So now I can let this side down. And obviously since this side is wrapped pretty tight, I don't have to worry about this falling off my head. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side and try to make it even. I obviously because I was talking while I was doing this, I wasn't paying attention. But normally I like to count how many pieces I grabbed, like how many sections I did. That way I can make sure that I'm doing the same amount on the other side because I don't want one side to be curlier than the other because if you're taking more sections on one side it means that side is going to be curlier <laughs> There we go all wrapped up it's kind of giving founding father a little bit <laughs> but as you can see the back of my head is is completely clear everything is just sitting on the side of my head and this is super soft and because it's just a belt it's really thin and squishy so it sits pretty flat on your head so I find that this by far out of all of the overnight heatless styles that I have tried throughout my lifetime this is the most comfortable one to sleep in if you're a really rough sleeper you might want to put like a scarf or bonnet or something over your head to cover so that way your hair won't rub up on your pillow and get loose and messed up so I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you in the morning okay it's the next morning this side started to fall out a tiny bit just because my hair is short so if you have shorter hair or you have a lot of layers in your hair this might end up happening to you but I think we should still be good because it's just kind of one piece that got loose before you take it out touch it make sure everything feels dry if it doesn't you can just hit it with the blow dryer really quick on low speed so just untwist And this is what your curls are going to look like. So then I take my fingers and just loosen everything up. You don't want to brush through this because then it's going to get frizzy and crazy. So just use your fingers to separate the curls and start with a little bit at a time. See how it's looking. When my hair was super long, I used to love doing this style because it just looked so pretty this is actually the first time trying this out on my short hair and it obviously bounces up a lot more on short hair than on long hair but look at those curls so if you guys liked this tutorial, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you. And hopefully I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.